Welcome back to your favorite build series, DWD in GCA, where I go around The Sims 4 and make lots based off what I find in Grand Theft Auto 5. So today we are working on a duplex. So I've never done that before. Um, so the way I found this was I was actually minding my business. I actually didn't have a destination today. And I had just came from looking at a series of homes. I think they're like, I, I don't know. I don't know if they're row homes or not, but I call them row homes <laughs> because they were in a row. Anyways, I came from a series of row homes. I didn't even go that far. And I found it at the end of a commercial area. And I thought it was cute. I almost left it too, but I came back and decided to take some pictures of it because I was, it was kind of unique to me because it had two doors. I'm like, oh, two doors. So that means like there could be a separate unit. And I love the idea of doing that because I like multi-purpose places. So I started taking pictures of the front and um, the side, getting as many details as I could. But I noticed that there was a big gate and it was wood and I wanted to kind of get over it, but I couldn't do it on a motorcycle because normally I ride on like a motorcycle or whatever. So I decided to take somebody's car and see if I could get over it that way, but it wasn't working because I kept getting myself hurt. <laughs> um, I got over the car once and I thought it would work, but it didn't. And then I realized that I could have just hopped the gate. So I hopped the gate to take some more pictures and get a good view of the back of the build and the sides of the build. And after that, I went off and collected the rest of my pictures. I went into game and did my thing. All right, so here we are working on the outside of the build. And once again, just like everything else, I pre-planned this on good notes. Lord, the way I keep talking about this friggin' app. <laughs> Maybe I should stop saying the app. But then again, girl, it's not like I'm gonna be getting promo or nothing off of it, but I do use good notes. So I had, I ain't gonna lie. I was really confused about what I would do with this build. So I made three prototypes. And I think I ended up using the very last one. So I had the floor plan kind of laid out, but I put this on a 20 by 15 lot. And I felt like if I wanted to be generous, I would have put this on a 30 by 20 and it would have had more breathing room. But for me, I feel like if the house is small already, I don't want to take up space from a build that I could put there later. Who knows? Maybe I could even take a build that I've done previously, put it on a bigger lot later and redecorate it and have it be something separate. Because I noticed in Grand Theft Auto 5, they do that a lot where they'll have the same kind of build and they place it down and they just change the yard or add a pool. Speaking of pools, I ain't at a pool yet. Lord. Sure. Anyways. <laughs> Here I am adding the doors. They're actually smaller than the doors that I saw, but I'm just gonna run with it. I'm adding a roof. I I'm adding some columns underneath the eaves of the roof because in those pictures, I believe there was, I believe there were columns there. And then a little piece of fence off to the side, some windows. I noticed that the windows up front had like three rectangles on top of each other. So I decided to put that together, put the little tiny piece of window right next to it. And then I had to add the windows that go along the top section of the builds. Lord, I hope I'm saying it right. <laughs> and then there was some windows in the back. I put some lights in for good measure. Decided to just put in some standard wallpaper just so it did look like the drywall. I can't stand the drywall. I don't like the way it looks at all. And then I go around front and add in that little section of garden, if you want to call it that. 
I think all it had was two little plants on each side, so it wasn't a big deal. I put these orange ones down first, but then I think I end up changing them to some kind of pinkish one. Yeah, I changed it to those pinkish ones because in that area, there wasn't a whole lot going on. I added some paving. I think I took the paving around the house, but it actually didn't make sense. So I just took the bulk of it away and left a little bit up front just for walking purposes. By this point, I knew I was done for this particular um, building session. So I wanted to at least have the main things down. That's what I pretty much do these days. When I have my buildings kind of planned out, I'll just put the main stuff that I want in that area down and just revise it later. So I'm putting these counters down and putting these cabinets down in the kitchen. And this is by no means the final product, but I knew that I was pretty much pooped for that day. So I wanted to come back and do it later. Now, one thing that came to my mind last minute was to add a pantry. Because one thing I never do is add pantries. And I kind of wish I've done it before, but what really sparked it was that lately, more in more recent time, after I finished uh, filming season two of my LP, I kind of um, wanted to dabble in custom like food and recipes and stuff like that because I thought they were so cool. I would see them in other people's games, but I didn't want to try anything because I was in the middle of filming. I don't like to really experiment with too many things while I'm in my element because I don't want too many things to change at once. I'd rather have all my changes come in between the seasons. So I started getting the foods and groceries, right? But I noticed that in my bills, I had nowhere to put them. I had no dedicated space for them at all. And I don't like that because it kind of limits my options. So I decided from this point on that I'm going to always include some kind of pantry kind of element. If I can't make a pantry because the place is too small, then I'll make sure I have shelving that is empty just in case any of you CC users like myself want to use custom food and actually put it up somewhere. Or say, even if you get groceries, right? You want to put your apples, your bananas. Wait, do we have bananas in game? Do we have bananas in game? I don't know if we have bananas. I don't know. That's crazy. Anyways, <laughs> if you want to put your apples, um, your oranges, your, I don't know. What, what other things? Tomatoes? Yeah. If you want to put your fruits and vegetables up there, then you can put your fruits and vegetables up and you can keep them out of the way. In my head, I feel like I wanted to include a dining table of some sort, but I couldn't I couldn't let myself do it. So you'll never see a dining table at any point during this build. So the countertops with the not boost the seat, what is it called? With the stool. The countertop with the stool will act as the dining area. And for me, I'm trying to figure out where exactly I want the couch and TV station to go. I wrote down a plan, but it just didn't feel right. So I was just moving stuff around, trying to figure out what I wanted to do. I wanted to include yellow somehow in this build because I know in my head, since this was kind of recent, I was thinking, what if I find pieces of furniture that have a certain color and then I base the theme around that piece of furniture? I still like that idea, but that wasn't the piece that ultimately did it for me. Oh, also, one thing I forgot to add was that I don't have a character prototype for this build. I know I said that I was going to have it from, you know, a certain point on, but this place, I didn't feel like it needed one and I didn't feel the need to add one. So I was kind of going with the flow in a way. This doesn't emulate the plan that I wrote for myself, but I kind of like it better than the plan that I did write. One thing I did keep in mind though, is that 
I wanted to have something funky for this side of the um, residential lot. So even though I don't keep that hallway table, I keep the general idea. But I'm starting to think that's dangerous because if I keep making everything uh, funky, bohemian, maximalist, where are the other styles at? So what I'm going to have to do is fix that. So I think I'll have to go back to Pinterest, look at some things, get inspired and then come back because all these bills can't end up being this way. So this will be one of the last ones, hopefully, where I do that. Right now, I found this. I want to say salmon, salmon couch. Yeah, I found this salmon couch. Um. I thought I would do something with this hallway table, but I don't think I ended up keeping it. I'm playing around with lights, trying to figure out what the heck is going on in my life, but I don't even think I end up keeping those. Just so you know, this side is the only side that I actually kind of cared about when it came to decorating. The other side is kind of bare, but there's a reason for that. So... This side of the build is actually going to be occupied by whatever sim or sims that you have there. It's meant for one sim at a time, but if you want to have like a couple, that's fine. And the plan with the other side is for you to rent it out. So you live on one side, you place an ad for a roommate, assuming you get a computer because I don't think I added one or kept one in this build. Or you can use your phone, I think, to do roommates too. So they get a roommate on the other side for the other person to chip in on rent. So every week they pay you, you know, X amount of simoleons and you live together blissfully. And they never have to come in your house because everything that you have, like the basic things, because the design is, like I said, bare bone on the other side. Everything you have, as far as necessities on one side, they have on the other side so they never have to come to your house your house can be set as the front door only thing about it is if they have friends come over i'm not sure how that works so you'll have to test that out and let me know but that's what it is i think i landed upon the item that i wanted to kind of base everything else around this little carpet with these circles right here I think I found a swatch in there that I really loved. Yeah, it's this swatch right here. It reminds me of kind of like the 70s. So I kind of wanted to run with it. So this person is probably into hand-me-downs and thrifting and things like that. So yeah, this person could be really into thrifting and getting old items because they have an appreciation for old things, but they're not, they may not necessarily be an older person. If I could take my brain back to that point, I think I was really trying to get into browns, but it just wasn't working at the time because I'm not sure how to style with brown just yet. I tried to put those little picture frame thingies up there, but I think I ended up taking them down. Yeah, I added some aprons and little pieces in the front because I'm actually trying to stay in one room for real. Because... <laughs> I think I've said this multiple times. I'm known for bouncing around and doing different stuff because my ideas take me everywhere. So I'm trying my best to stay in this general area and it's kind of working for now. This place is meant to look kind of dated, but it reminds me of standard, I'll say substandard apartments. Yeah, they remind me of substandard apartments where stuff is bland and you can't make too many cosmetic changes so this person can't add walls knock down walls they can't they're really not supposed to paint even though there's paint up on this wall <laughs> put a whole bunch of nails in the uh, wall but you know people do that anyway and then just add toothpaste when they're about to go or like little pieces of is it spackle i don't know but you know they add stuff when they're about to leave so personalization they can't do a whole lot, but they do what they can when they can. And they figure by the time they leave, they can just repaint because that's the only thing that they really did to change the place. 
So at this point, I'm kind of trying to finish up the living, dining, quote unquote, in kitchen area. And I think it feels kind of homey, kind of. I made sure to add a mat in the front, add little clutter pieces. And um, oh, over here, I was trying to change the walls back to white, but I realized that it would take those baskets off the wall. So that's how I had to fix that part. And then I cut off the kitchen from the living area. It felt like the right idea to me, so I kept it. And I like how it looks right now. I think it's cool to have like a nice separation. Honestly, I probably should have cut off. I, I probably should have sealed in that wall right there and added another one of these over there too. I don't know, before I upload it, maybe I'll look at it. Maybe I'll change it, I'm not sure. Anyways, I changed the light fixtures in the kitchen and then I changed the stools to something a little more edgy. Edgy, I guess, they're from Island Living. Oh, and if you notice, I'm playing around with the, what is it, Better Build By mod, I think, and then use that in tandem with Tool. I'm starting to do that now. Like I'm really trying to get my feet wet with the Tool mod because I've seen a lot of people make some crazy good things and interesting looking things that I never thought you could with the tool mod. So I kind of want to get that together and figure out what I'm doing. I'm not the best because I didn't even show you how I got those uh, baskets on the wall. It took a long time. I had to do it off camera. Yeah, I'm not the best, but I definitely want to uh, try it out and get better at it. And right now I'm working on the bathroom. I didn't do a whole lot to the bathroom. I changed the counter or the sink. Yeah, I changed the sink. I didn't keep that thing on top of the toilet. I actually changed that out with something else. Added a robe. I added some carpet, a, what is it called? A plunger and then a plunger case, vase. Something for you to stick the plunger in because imagine you know what? Don't even imagine. You know what I was about to go with. You, you, you know what I was about to say. Unsanitary. You, you, you get me? Yeah. Unsanitary. So that's pretty much all I did to the bathroom. And from this point, I think I moved on to the bedroom. So I'm in the bedroom. I thought I would have the whole room be that coral color, but I actually decided to change it because I wasn't trying to make too many changes to the inside of the build, like I was saying before, because whoever lives here, it'll say that you own it, but you kind of don't. Because in my mind, we're renting, but it's not going to be a rental. So I'm playing around with the colors. I know I want to keep orange hanging around. Orange and yellow and brown are like the colors that I think I used for this scheme with that pop of what is it called? Um, coral, whatever. I decided to add in a closet closet because I wasn't feeling like the dresser idea. And actually, funny enough, I wrote it down here that I actually wanted a closet, but yeah. <laughs> so I'm doing that and adding curtains to try to make it feel a little more homey because I want to think about set dressing when I'm doing stuff like this. There is no washer and dryer, but I decided to keep this basket here. Let's just say in our brains, they go to the laundromat in Magnolia Promenade to do their laundry. By the way, I have a laundromat in Magnolia Promenade that you can download right now. It's called Panache Cleaning. Or is it Panache Laundering? It's called Panache Something. It's available in the gallery right now. So they do their laundry elsewhere. So I'm just going to leave that basket right there. I'm playing around with curtains to put up, but I decided to take those same curtains from the front and move them to the back. I think those curtains came from that kit that you could get for free. Um, Desert Lux. That's a really nice kit, by the way. Did I tell you that I love kids? If you didn't hear me in a previous episode, I love kids. And yo, I heard that we're getting a clutter kit. I'm so excited. And 
I swear, like in my brain, I feel like, like I know stuff sometimes. For real, like in my head, when I would think about the clutter, hoping that there would be a clutter kit, of course, I would think like, what would they call it? Like, would they call it like everyday clutter or something like that? And it's called everyday clutter. Yeah. I knew like, like my brain, right? Like you agree? Like my brain? <laughs> Anyways, it's coming and I'm so glad that it's coming. So soon as the 10th of November hits, I'm going to grab it. But I got to update my game. Cause you already know i'm not excited about that but <sighs> whatever now i'm going to the other side and just fixing up the place just a little bit just a little bit because i don't care about that other side whoever lives over there you have everything you need so really you shouldn't be bothering me about nothing only thing they would need on their own is a computer if they ever need one but hopefully they don't maybe they got a job now, if you want to go out of your way and get them something nice, you can do that. But I'm not going to. Couch, TV, functioning kitchen, functioning bedroom. I give them curtains. They don't get the same curtains as you do. They get those old school apartment style blinds and little stuff like that. That's all they get. So from here, I think I'm pretty much done. Just changing a little bit of lighting and... Oh, my bad. Last thing I did was change the stones in the front because I kind of didn't like them. And uh, yeah, I think it's time for me to read off that description now. So the description is as follows. This is a little blue duplex that's currently occupied on one side. The other half is waiting to be rented out so that the housing costs won't be so expensive. If you have a sim that has retro taste and doesn't mind sharing a lot, this is the perfect place for you. XO, April Baby 321. Watch now on my YouTube channel. So now I will show you some pictures of the build. I love that one side that I did. I'm not showing you any pictures of that other side because who cares? This place is called 1691 East Mirror Drive, but East is E dot. It's gonna be E dot. 1691 East Mirror Drive. It is located in Willow Creek on a 20 by 15 lot. It is a two bedroom, two bath, valued at 44,726 simoleons. This place is available right now on the gallery for your downloading pleasure. Thank you so much for tuning into DWD and GTA and listening to me ramble like I always do. <laughs> I will see y'all next week for another episode. Bye-bye.